Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to look at a unicorn Cabrera. So we've got the unicorn Cabrera and we're going to show you through all the features that this has got and how to use everything. So on the near side, we've got our mains electric, so no lockers. Uh, it's just literally plugged straight into the side. Just in front of that, we've got our barbecue point. Um, so this will run off the main gas point and it's just an external gas barbecue socket. Storage underneath of the front seating. So we've got a nice wet locker there with a big tray in there. And then we've got an external 230 volt socket. So that'll give you power out into the awning. There is also a little external satellite connection there as well. So if you go to a site and you want to use their connection, you can go straight into here or if you wanted an external aerial of your own again straight into that and that will supply into the caravan now on the front on the unicorns you don't get a big gas locker so no big gas lockers there that's on the side but we're on the alco chassis we've got the alco atc and we are on 13 pin electrics now moving on to the offside this is where our gas locker is which we'll come to in a second but first we've got our mains water connection or our water pump connection now drop our water pump in plug that in just make sure that it's catched in and then lock it into place so next along we've got the aldi flu for the water heater and heating system and then as mentioned we've got our gas locker so we can get two six kilogram or seven kilogram bottles we've actually got this set up for propane so just have to remember this is reverse thread when we connect it on and we do need a gas spanner so then it's literally just reverse thread when we're normally using the caravan obviously we need to make sure that our gas bottles are connected um, in with our straps and secured into place for traveling etc um, but it just makes it a little bit easier to have the gas bottle free and um, just to be able to get the gas spanner in there and again as said reverse thread and then just a quick nip up we can then turn our gas bottle on on the top and there's nothing else to do we've then got all of our wastewater outlets just right underneath the cassette toilet outlet um, so our shower and sink wastewater is all going to come out of here. Top is our flush water for the toilet, so water and pink chemical. And then our actual cassette is just at the bottom. We've got our awning light on already. Now, as we come into the caravan, just on our right hand side through the door, we've got our control panel. So we've got our master power on and off. We've got our awning light, we've got our internal lights, and then we've got our water pump. Now up the top, it will tell us what the voltage that we've got coming from the battery. Uh, got a couple of light switches there, so we'll get a few lights on inside. Now, before we put the water pump on, there's a couple of things that we need to do. Um, firstly, is make sure all of our taps are off and that the taps are over the sinks. And then just underneath of this seat here, we've got our drain off bung or our drain off valve for the water system. Now, just right at the back, um, you should hopefully be able to see the little yellow drain switch, um, which is there. Trying to feel around, it's gone a bit dark. So to drain the caravan off, we pop that into the up position and then to use it back down into the flat position. So again, make sure that that is down and flat before we put that water pump on, otherwise all the water is gonna be flooded out onto the floor. If we do want to drain the caravan down, it's just literally open all the taps up, pop that into the upright position and that will drain the system down. So when we come back in, just make sure it's flat. Taps are off, over the sink, we can then pop our water pump on and start getting the water through the system. Now, if we've drained the system down, it is going to take a good five or 10 minutes to get all the air out. So we're going to have a lot of coughing and spluttering before we get to a nice flow of water. 
But once we've got to a nice flow of water like we have there, we can then look at putting our heating set system on, uh, which we'll come back to in a minute. We've then got our gas system. Um, now, I'm going to get all the air out of the system. We've just put a new gas bottle on there. Um, so it's going to take about 30, 40 seconds just to get the gas through the system and get all the air out. So we'll just literally hold the control dial into the on position, hit our igniter. What you can do just to speed it up is if we put two on, just cheat in there and that'll just get the gas through a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. Um, now by getting all the gas through the system on our hobs here, we can physically see that we've got the gas coming through. Um, number one and number two it gets the gas through the system a little bit quicker so if we do want to use our gas and we want to use our fridge our heating it's all going to light up a little bit quicker and easier um, by getting the gas through here first we've also got an electric ring just on the back which is our first control dial and we get a little light come on to say that that is working and again I'll just put my hand on there just to make sure i wouldn't advise once it's been on for a few minutes to put your hand on because it does get very very hot and um, that's heating up nicely turn that back into the off position we'll get our gas through on our hob or our grill even sorry and then just below we've got our oven Then you might need to just hold the control dial in for 30 seconds or so just to get that lit up and that will then stay lit and you can set the temperature to where you want that to. By getting the gas through, as I said, uh, everything else then, our fridge, um, if we're going to use that on the gas, it will just light up a little bit quicker. Now to use our fridge, we open the door and it reveals our control dials. So we've got off at the top, we've got electric, so if we're plugged into the mains electric and we're just using it on the mains, then that will just work automatically. Over on this right hand side, we've then got a thermostat so we can set the temperature to where we want that to. If we'd got all 13 pins wired and we'd got the engine running, we could put this onto the battery and keep the fridge cool as we're traveling. And then we've got the gas. Now to light the gas up, First select our gas, press in the thermostat and then we've got a little indicator or a little igniter. Our little indicator then, hopefully you'll be able to see the little red line then coming up into the green. Keep that held in until it's stayed up into the green for about 30 seconds. If it does go out, just hit our igniter again. That'll light it back up. And then again, literally just once it's got up into that green section, keep it held in for about 30 seconds. We can then release the dial and that will then stay lit. You should be able to hear the slight burning sound of the, of the flame burning away in the background as well. And um, just make sure that, as I say, that little indicator stays up into the green. Once we've finished using the fridge, it's literally just back into the off position. We've then got our heating. So just by our kitchen area, we've got the Aldi control panel. Press our power button. On our main screen, then it will give us a little plug symbol just to make sure that we've got the power for the 230 on. Um, we can then go onto the menu um, and we can select our different settings. We have got a settings so we can go in um, and we can set up our different settings um, when it will come off or when it will come on, when it will turn off. Um, so you can change the settings throughout here. I'm not going to go into all the settings because it, it does take quite, quite a long time to be fair. Um, so you'll need to just go through the book for the main on and off though. Um, we've got our temperature. 
so just for normal use without setting all the timers up we can set our temperature what we want in the caravan we've then got our hot water so we've got hot water and heating on our first setting and then if we go on to our second setting that will prioritize just the hot water so if we do go on to the full setting there we won't get heating for about 30 minutes uh, and that's like a boost and it'll just put all of the power through to the hot water so for normal use we'd run it just on that middle setting we've then got electric so at the moment we've got electric off so we can now select one kilowatts two kilowatts or three kilowatts depending on what site that we go to and then if we hadn't got 230 volts and we wanted our gas we literally just press our gas um, and again about a minute you'll hear the actual gas uh, side of it roar up um, and then on that vent the aldi vent on the outside you'll be able to feel the actual gas coming out or the, the heat coming out of there that will then pretty much just put your normal settings on and then when we go back to our menu screen we'll get our internal temperature so if we want our heating obviously it's got to be above this setting here we've got our heating setting just to say that our heating inside the caravan now is on and then our hot water again is on and running to turn everything back off again if we want our gas off just literally press our gas turn our hot water off um, and then because we've not got any electrical gas on that will just literally turn everything back into the off position we can then just completely turn it off with our on and off button as so now you'll have probably noticed that on the outside we hadn't got a, a battery lock and nowhere for a battery so the actual battery on this unicorn cabrera is mounted onto the floor so the location is literally just straight here um, the little strap then comes across your normal terminals and then the cover just goes back on as normal so we've also then got the microwave now we've got different settings that we've got on there we've got a, twi a quick 30 second um, stop and clear and then all as I say different settings now one thing just to remember is always just remove the microwave plate when you're coming to travel so I'll pop that just underneath of that seat and that's ready for when you go we've got different lighting throughout the caravan and um, some are on their own little switches and then some we've got switches located around the caravan so on the kitchen area we've got two switches one does the higher and lower and then the other one does the bottom lights going towards the bathroom then We've actually got a, a pull cord in the bathroom that puts the bathroom lights on and off. Um, while I'm here, I'll also just do the cassette toilet. So our flush button is on the top. That will then put our flush water through as normal. And then our little opening is the grey handle just at the bottom. We've got more light switches in the bedroom. So our main light switch for the bedroom is just to the side. And then again, we've got our little on and off individual switches by the bed we have also got the usb connections on here for charging phones etc the one other thing that the baileys come with is the tire pal system and um, so the newer tire pal uh, the little transmitters are actually fitted into the wheels themselves so you've not got to put any caps on and then it is literally pop the little screen into the car put the power into it through a cigarette type and then you'll just literally press your link button and that should then set up and automatically find the 
tyre pal monitors. Uh, it'll come up on the screen then and that should give you the readout of what the actual tyre pressures are. And then your main electric, so all of your fuses and trip switches are just underneath of the fridge. Um, so they're all located nice and easily just there. If there is anything that you're not sure on, just let us know. But hopefully we've gone through everything and got you up and running on your Unicorn Cabrera. Thanks, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place. Mm -hmm.